Let's have a look at the features of the 360 camera. The 360 camera has three buttons that are found on the side. The top button is the power button. The second is the Wi-Fi. And the third button is the mode button that allows you to switch between camera and video. You'll notice that the camera also comes in a silicon case. If I take the case top off, you will see that this camera has dual lenses. Please ensure your students have the silicon case cover on when they walk around outside of the classroom. And make sure that they don't place the camera on the table without the cover on. You'll also notice that on your 360 camera, you will find three ports on the bottom. The first port is the USB charging port. The second is the tripod connection. And the third is the microphone connection. Below that, you'll also see the serial number. And the serial number is used to connect to the Wi-Fi. When it comes to transferring your photos to your PC, you will need your USB cable. And this will plug into the USB port and your PC. Please ensure that your students take all the photos off the cameras before they are sent on to the next school. You might find that you will need to do some device updates on your camera. And you can use the Theta app that is found on the PC to do this. This video is part of a series of support videos all about the kit that you have borrowed. To find the other videos in this series, head to the Learning Library and visit the kit page for the equipment you've borrowed. You can also find the full list of support videos for all of our kit on the YouTube channel. You can also join us in the Yammer community. If you have any questions or you'd like to ask teachers how they've used the equipment in their classroom, then why not join us on the STEM T4L Facebook community? It's a closed group, you can ask teachers how they've used the equipment and also share the work samples that your students have created.